Our brother Bob's sermon text this evening is from Psalm chapter 103, verse 17. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. This is the mercy of the Lord. Now when Pharaoh saw the Israelites multiplying, what did he do? He began murdering their babies. He began trying to kill them off. King Nebuchadnezzar the king, he made an idol of gold. um, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah would not bow to that idol. This did not set well with him. So what did he do? He sent them to the fiery furnace. Mm -hmm. The Jews watched Jesus perform miracles. They listened to him teach. They listened to the Christ firsthand teach. The Sadducees and the Pharisees, it didn't set well with them because Jesus spoke the truth, and the truth brought out what was truly in their hearts. Amen. Mm-hmm. And what did they do? They crucified him. We see no mercy in these examples. Those who aren't with God and don't have him, don't have God, have no mercy, and they give no mercy. Mm-hmm. So we come to this conclusion. Mercy comes from God. Amen. What is mercy for? It is for deliverance. In every one of those examples, deliverance was required. Mercy was required. God gives mercy for deliverance from trials. Isaiah 43, verse 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. God gives mercy for deliverance from sin. Hebrews 2, verse 14 through 15. For as much as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself... Likewise, took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. He gives mercy for delivering us from this world even. Revelation 14, verses 14 through 6. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in thy sickle, and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, and the harvest of the earth is ripe. Mm -hmm. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. Mm -hmm. And there is so much more that we are delivered from. The powers of darkness, Satan, our Mm -hmm. flesh itself. Now, God didn't have to be merciful for us. He isn't merciful to us just because we're so special or because we deserve it. His mercy is founded on a much better and a much sure thing, his will and purpose. So if you need mercy, go to God. It is from everlasting to everlasting. Too often do men make this mistake in going to someone else or something else to try to deliver them or get them through something. This is a great offense to God because mercy isn't given on a whim. It is purposeful. So go to God for mercy. Lamentations 3, verse 21 through 23. My soul hath them still in remembrance and is humbled in me. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen.